Hi, this is João. I have been working with this library to create some terminal user interface, some CLI. It's the library is called LibGloss, and it's a pretty nice library that I want to show how I have been using that. So, firstly, what you can do with this library, you can create some user interface like this, some pretty nice colors that you can create using other libraries but this one allows you to make it very easy to create those so you have to basically to create a style and set your style in a very similar way to CSS so if you are familiar with CSS this is pretty easy so just to give a quick example how this can be used and what you can do with that so let's say you want to create some, um, let's say, hello, I don't have a better name right now. So new style, and then let's say we want to create a background, and you can set some hexadecimal color, and then you can do the same for foreground, and foreground, now it's going to work foreground and then yeah basically it's then you are going to present that on screen and you just say hello dot handler and you say your variable here I want to say something different than hello my first line and then you can go to your terminal and then run that so because you don't have any color you cannot see anything I want to get some colors from here and maybe try this color and maybe I want a white foreground or close to white and then let's see it again mm, the color is not so great so let me try another one maybe this one and then again yeah this looks a little better so there is a lot of nice things here so you can for example create some space for your content so let's say we want 100 um, width and then if you run it again that's what you're going to have on screen you can align let's make it a little bigger not so and this one is smaller and yeah here we go and a little more yeah and so let's say we want to align this content so we just say align lip gloss instead of left let's say we want right and then we can call it again and we have it my line to right and let's keep it center and what's also nice that's because it's very similar to CSS so we can add some painting that's pretty cool so in this case it's going to be exactly the same uh, exactly like before but now we can set some top and bottom spacing and let's try it again yeah that's what we have and you can increase the value it's going to be a little bigger now and then there is a lot of nice options here available you can have this adaptive color when you have uh, a light schema in your operational system is going to follow this color if it's dark it's going to uh, follow this other color there are different ways to set colors um, here there is a better explanation and another nice thing about that there is a lot of nice things here but one that i want to highlight is this copy one it this one help you to not keep repeating yourself like so let's say we want exactly this con this customization but we want to make it bold for example but we want to keep the first one as a regular test so we want the second one the second line in bold so what you can do is to create like a bold string for example sorry for the bad names 
and lip gloss and then you just copy the previous style copy and then you can set um, you can set a different uh, thing here so we want bold so bold true and then instead of hello here you're going to say bold string and then we when you render it again you can actually see the bold content but you didn't have to repeat everything again and set the bold you just have to copy and yeah that's basically it there is a lot of other things there is also tabs that it's it's pretty nice and there is tables that you can do something like this and yeah pretty nice tool if you want to have a look it's worth every second because you can do a lot of nice stuff and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you like the content you can subscribe thanks